I caught a lot of crap in that video I posted about me stealing Elizabeth's egg. See, she loves me. She loves me. She got a messy beak. She just got done eating. People calling me baby killer and telling me I'm stealing her eggs and that I should let her be a mom. Well, I think a lot of people don't really understand how the eggs work for starters. Yes, they are fertilized when the, when the bird lays them usually, but there's no baby in there. It's just like the raw ingredients ready to go. Until the bird starts actually sitting on the egg, it's just an egg. The bird will have to sit on it for a while for it to start, you know, turning into a baby. So for those of you who have recently joined the channel and don't know, we are a vegan-run farmed animal sanctuary. And so that means we put all of our effort into providing the absolute best life possible for our sanctuary residents. Now that includes things like feed and vet bills and fencing and housing up there. All of that stuff takes resources, time, energy, money. And we are a registered 501c3 nonprofit organization. And the time commitment for the sanctuary, assuming that everyone's healthy and there's no extra work to do, no extra injuries to treat or ailments to treat, just basic maintenance type stuff, cleaning cages and feeding animals, exceeds three hours per day per person. And so every time we're going to take on a new resident, a new responsibility, we have to ask ourselves, can we afford to feed this animal? Can we pay for its veterinary care? You know, do we have enough housing? If Do we have the space? Will they fit in? These are all questions we have to ask ourselves before we take on a new animal. If you don't ask yourself those questions, then you could very well go from a sanctuary to a hoarder and the quality of life for your animals would suffer. Circling back to Elizabeth's egg, if we just let her hatch eggs, every single baby that she hatched would take up food, money, space, fencing, all of that stuff, our time, that an animal that's already in this world could desperately use. And we would have to turn away animals in need because we're breeding animals here. I feel like we have a responsibility to our donors to use those funds to help animals in need and not support what would be a hobby farm if we just bred our own animals here. Now, we have a Patreon. If you would like to support our work, you can visit the link in our bio, flipflopsanimalsanctuary.org, um, and you can join for as little as a dollar a month. So if you'd like to support our work here and help us take on animals that are already out there in need, please join our Patreon. You can follow us on Patreon for free. We post updates on the sanctuary that we don't post here on TikTok. Um, I guess that's it. Hopefully that answered some questions.